Thank you, Mr. Chopra. I was uh, reminded, you see, that when a <coughs> law teacher was giving a final lecture to his students who were then to become lawyers, he gave them a parting advice. That time we had a jury system in India. So he told them as a parting advice that if you are strong on facts, hammer them to the jury. If you are strong on law, hammer the points to the judge. So one bright fellow like one of the youngsters sitting here, he said, sir, if you are strong in none, he said, hammer the table. Now, friends, I don't know how and why I have become the summit chairman of this most prestigious uh, uh, Chamber of Commerce, the Indo-American Chamber of Commerce, and that also chairman of the Economic Summit. Because I hardly know anything either about the, about the commerce or the uh, economics of it. But anyway, this duty has been cast on me. And it's because I think of my very eminent co-chair that we have been able to put up a good program for you. I would like to introduce first, you see, uh, the very dynamic president of this only bilateral chamber of its kind in the country, that is the Indo-American Chamber of Commerce. The president is Mr. Sayyid Badruddin. He is the national president and has been associated with the chamber for the last 26 years in various capacities at regional and national levels. He is a graduate mechanical engineer of Osmania University and has an experience of 34 years in manufacturing industry. He has done extensive applied research on clay mineralogy. He is promoted and became the managing director of Anjani Portland Cement Limited and various other companies, group companies like SB Holdings Private Limited which promotes and invests in all industrial and business activities through this holding company. It's indeed a privilege to have you, sir, today with us. Thank you. I would like to introduce also my co-chair, that is Dr. Vivek Lal, co-chair of this summit and the regional president of Indo-American Chamber of Commerce. He was appointed vice president and country head Boeing Defense, Space and Security in May 2007. He comes to this position after serving as Managing Director of Boeing Commercial Airplanes in India and now offers significant broad India market and customer insights on the emerging needs of the Indian customer. Vivek earned a Bachelor of Mechanical Engineering degree from <coughs> Carlton University in Canada and a Master's of Aeronautical Engineering degree from Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University. He has also his PhD in Aerospace Engineering and from, from Wichita State University in Kansas and MBA from City University in Washington. He has been recipient of several honors including the 2008 OCA National Asian Pacific American Corporate Achievement Award. He has also received a gold medal from Cambridge, UK for his scientific contribution. Vivek serves as both chairman of the Defense Steering uh, Committee and co-chair the Homeland Security Committee of the American Chamber of Commerce in India. He is also chairman of Defense Committee of the SOCHAM and serves as the regional president of Indo-American Chamber of Commerce. As I go on, I will introduce the other eminent speakers on the dais also. But Due to constraints of time, which our uh, honourable chief guest has, I think we will proceed in a slightly different format. The theme of this summit is synergizing partnerships for growth. Now, nothing could be more relevant given the present scenario and particularly after the depression, global depression, which was faced by the economies all over the world. We have chosen very important subjects for discussion and indeed it's a matter of great pride for us that we have been able to get 
the topmost speakers who are going to make their presentations in in various sessions, working sessions which are to take place. We have discussions on infrastructure, aerospace and aviation, energy security, and some of the new areas where which we are including are education and synergizing India-US stroke China partnership. A new dimension is being introduced in this important uh, summit. Then knowledge-based manufacturing and export of services from India, which is a very important segment of India's uh, industrial activity, export of services. And last but not the least, we have Bollywood to Hollywood in the field of entertainment and uh, privacy laws, and all those would be discussed. But we missed out on one very important uh, subject, which concerns the Indian and the U.S. business in particular. Somehow it didn't strike me, I admit my lapse, but before it became too late, we thought that the competition law of this country, which is a new product, earlier we had the MRTP, which is now repealed, but the competition law of India with particular reference to mergers and acquisitions and to the definition of control and with particular reference also to the merger notification regime. I thought that is of vital interest because this issue has been agitating foreign investors who want to come and invest in India as also the Indian investors as to what can be the implications, ramifications of this new law which has come, although it was enacted in 2002, but it was brought into force only in 2000, late 2008. And we have, at the moment, a very dynamic, with a track record of proven credentials, Mr. Dhanendra Kumar, as the chairman of the Competition Commission of India. There could be no one better than to tell us in his address about what are the implications for foreign investors as also for the Indian business community so far as the uh, competition laws are concerned. Mr. Dhanendra Kumar assumed the office of the Competition Commission of India as its chairman in February 2009 at a very difficult time, difficult time because the Competition Act had been in place since 2002, but due to some judicial intervention and all, it could not be put into implementation till 2009. Previous to this, Mr. Kumar was the Executive Director for India at the World Bank in Washington, representing India, Sri Lanka, Bangladesh and Bhutan during 2005 to 2009. Mr. Kumar spent majority of his professional career with the Indian Administrative Service in various jobs in industrial and economic development. He joined the uh, in Indian Administrative Service in 1968 and served at the state government of Haryana and government of India. He gradually climbed the ranks to become one of the senior most officials with vast experience in economic and infrastructure development sectors. From 1983 to 86, he was stationed as the resident director of India Investment Centre in London, England, responsible for promoting investments into India, joint ventures, collaboration. Just prior to his move to the World Bank, he served as secretary in the Government of India for Defence Production, and he also served as secretary Road, Transport and Highways and Secretary, Ministry of Culture in the Government of India. As additional Secretary Telecom, he was closely associated with the telecom revolution in India through the opening of competition in telecom sector during 1998 to 2002. He was awarded National Citizens Award by Mother Teresa for outstanding contribution in development of industrial parks in Haryana. Before I request our Honourable Chief Guest to deliver his inaugural address, 